Hi, my name is Freddie, and I'm an employee with SAMO Fund, working with the National Park Service. The Milkweed Project is a project we've been working on over the past month here at the nursery. We've been trying to both collect and map milkweed for restoration purposes in the future. Hi, my name is Michelle Feiler, and I've been volunteering with the National Park Service for three years. I love monarch butterflies, and I've been um, growing a monarch habitat garden at my home for about 10 years. Well, milkweed is the only host plant for the monarch caterpillars. It's the only food source. So monarch butterfly females will only lay uh, eggs on milkweed plants. And that's the only food source for the caterpillars as they, they develop. Milkweed's natural habitat is actually a flat area in between mountains where water would accumulate. That's also a very good place to build a lot of structures and paved roads. So lots of the original habitats that milkweed were in here in California have kind of been wiped away. So we try to look at the mountains and the flat areas in our parks to be able to know where to collect. The first step is planning on where to go and then being able to go out there with just a group of people with GPSs to mark those points if they find any milkweed. Milkweed is difficult to collect because there is a very short period of time where it's actually ready but not exploded yet. Once the floss and seeds inside the milkweed pods explode, they're very quickly blown away by the wind. In order to collect the seeds before they are blown away, we have been placing mesh bags over the seed pod that we think will mature soon. Then, in a few weeks, we collect the bags and the seeds inside them. We have a variety of different ways to clean milkweed. It really depends on the ripeness of the seed. So if we get it right when it's ready, then we're able to just easily clean off the seed just with our fingers. But if we get it after it's ready, when the hairs and floss have already dried, then it's a bit harder. We have to either hand pick them, which can be a nuisance, or we can put them in a paper bag with some rocks, shake them up to knock loose all the seeds on the floss, and hopefully get most of them. The milkweed project wouldn't be possible alone. So we have many different groups helping us. Groups like Community Nature Connection, the interns at the National Park Service, Northeast Trees, volunteers from the Park Service, and SAMO Youth. All these groups come together to help us smoothen out this project and be able to have a lot of manpower working with milkweed. Growing milkweed is super important because there's such a habitat loss. And um, that's due to climate change, uh, the use of herbicides, and so if there's no food source for the monarchs, then the monarchs can't thrive. And there's been a, a great decline in uh, recent years um, in the monarch population. In the milkweed project, we want to be able to restore milkweed to its natural habitat. With all the milkweed seed that we're collecting, we're trying to give back milkweed in different ways. There's one way is gonna be giving it out to the public when we have raised it sufficiently. And then we are also gonna be planting it back in the areas of which we found it to be successful. My name is Antonio Sanchez. I'm the nursery manager here at Rancho Sierra Vista. And I love this milkweed project that we started off this summer. With it, we're gonna be able to do restoration work for years to come here at Rancho Sierra Vista. Um, we've collected thousands of seed from Asclepias fascicularis or narrow leaf milkweed. We've been able to work with tons of partners um, and we're gonna be able to work with our partner, the community Seed LA, to provide them with some seed from our local hills. Um, and all of this work is possible because of our funders, uh, primarily the ones at Metabolic Studios. Um, you know, if it wasn't for the funding that we received, we wouldn't be able to go out and track all these milkweed. We wouldn't be able to come back and clean the seed and then we wouldn't be able to grow the stuff here at the nursery. Um, so we found over 100 points here just within about a mile or two of the nursery. Uh, these points have milkweed populations. And so what we're using with our GIS technology is we're going to throw all this data in and we're trying to find the locations that have the biggest populations. And when we go back to restore with the plants that we've grown, we're going to plant in the biggest populations. And so that's going to start this fall, probably November or December. Um, and so we're looking forward to doing it. Um, but I just want to thank our funders, the interns, 
and all the great volunteers and staff that we've worked with this summer that have made this project possible. And on behalf of the Monarchs, thank you.